Yo, vlog on people. It has been a long time and I've been doing a lot of other stuff trying to get some other stuff together And I know I've said that I want to try to bring some other kind of content to you Which I definitely have been working on but these things kind of keep piling up on me. This thing came such a long time ago, but I have the winter Nick box so that tells you how long I've actually been sitting on this thing sitting on it so long that they even have the spring one about to be on its way sometime soon so I have to actually do these things so let's go ahead and get into that all right everybody so here it is the winter Nick box it actually looks like an oven not sure exactly why they did that but you know you got the front end of it here with the knobs on top you got the burners on the top of it and yeah that's just the whole 360 of the box right there not sure exactly what the theme is gonna be but I guess we'll figure that out once we get into it right so let's go ahead and open it see what we got inside of it has the little glass window of the oven so it kind of corresponds with the front of the box and the rest of it is black and you have slime on the inside as well I do see some clothing items in here the card, oh, not even supposed to look at the card. Card is here, all the contents are on the back. There's quite a few things listed back there, so this might be a really nice box. First things first, we have a Rocco's Modern Life oven mitt. This thing is actually pretty dope. I like it. The color is nice. You got a big image of Rocco there. The logo is right there. So Rocco's Modern Life oven mitt. Nice, thick, good quality. I actually believe maybe I should do some cooking videos or something put this thing to use, right? A Rocco's Modern Life oven mitt. To go with that, a Rocco's Modern Life pot holder. So you got the same kind of theme going here with the Rocco kitchen stuff. We got the pot holder, has a logo on the one side, the Rocco pattern all over it. You got the same purple trim to it, just like on the oven mitt. So Rocco's Modern Life pot holder is actually pretty dope. We'll definitely get you this out of that. Put the shirt to the side there. What do we have here? Are these socks? <laughs> this is actually pretty dope. We got some good burger socks. So you got the blue and white stripes that, um, what's his name? Kel's name on Good Burger, Ed. What Ed would wear on Good Burger, that's a part of their uniform, the color, the blue and white stripes. And then you actually got the Good Burger plus burgers actually stitched to the toe. So this is obviously for in the house, because how is this gonna fit in the sneaker, right? But that's for in the house, good burger, indoor, around the house socks. It has actually the little rubber grips on the bottom too. So it's kind of funny. I don't think I'm ever gonna wear this, but actually pretty nice. Maybe I'll give that to somebody. Pay attention to what's going on on my social media, guys. Anyway, we got a, wow. This is actually hilarious. We got a Good Burger AirPod case. So I actually recently purchased a pair of AirPods. And it's kind of funny because I've been looking into different cases. Not sure what exactly uh, kind of case that I want. I actually have a Bape case. You know, hype beast kind of stuff. But I got a Bape camo AirPod case, but Good Burger iPod case. And I actually shows you exactly how it fits in there. It's actually kind of bulky, but this is actually pretty dope. I'm glad that they're using other stuff rather than the typical cartoons they've been using. I'm glad they're putting other kind of stuff in here. Good burger and pot case. That's a good one. Alright. I see here we have the little uh, cupcake liners. A little pack of cupcake liners, guys. Actually has all the characters around it there on a green background. So cupcake liners, you got... Spunky, Tommy, Ickis, Cat, Dog, Reptar, Helga, Rocco, Oblina. There's a bunch of stuff on here. But yeah, cupcake liners. So maybe I gotta use this stuff and actually maybe bake some cupcakes or something and, and throw that video up and see, see what happens there. But let's see what else we got in here. We got... This is definitely from Rocco's Modern Life. The Chokey Chicken. That's the restaurant that they would actually always go to eat at. And it's just... A little picture of the restaurant on a canvas that you can actually hang up. They have a little bar hook thing there on the back so you can just hang it up wherever. But yeah, so a picture of the chunky chicken. 
not exactly sure what I'm gonna do with that, but all right, that's that's something different. Vinyl figure. Let's see what the vinyl figure is. We have Chucky from Rugrats eating a Reptar bar. And if you actually look in detail, you can see the green inside of the Reptar bar. And let me tilt it a little bit. Maybe I should actually open it. I usually open these things. Let's do that. I'm gonna open it so you guys can see exactly what the vinyl figure looks like. Okay, and there's a base for it as well. The base is right here, so you can actually put in the stand on it. But Chucky Finster eating a Reptar bar. And like I was about to say, if you tilt it a little bit, you see inside, you see his tongue. His tongue is green, because remember, the Reptar bars, even the Reptar cereal turns your tongue green. No, the Reptar bar turns your tongue green, the Reptar cereal turns the milk green. If I remember correctly, I don't know. But his tongue is green, I know that part for sure. The Reptar bar turns your tongue green. So they actually went into a lot of detail with this. So that's pretty dope. And you guys actually have the full design of what the Reptar bar looks like with the full shape of it. You know, they could have just made it a simple looking chocolate bar, but they wanted to emphasize that it is a Reptar bar. Anyway, that is the vinyl figure. Oh, and inside the box has the Reptar bar. That is dope. They go into detail, not only with the products itself, but with the packaging too. I've noticed that. That's fire. Chucky Finster vinyl figure. What else we got here? We have... I mean, you could actually use this for other things, guys. But here we have a Reptar chocolate mold. That means I can make Reptar bars. That might be a thing. I might actually attempt, attempt Reptar bars. We'll see what happens. I gotta figure that out. But a Reptar chocolate mold. It's a nice little silicone. So that way once you make your mold, you can push it out of there and all that. This is pretty dope. Reptar chocolate mold. I kind of gave this away, didn't I? Let me tuck that back in there. Anyway. Salt and pepper shaker with Ren and Stimpy on it. So, I'm gonna open the box, but from the picture on the front, you can kinda already tell what it's gonna be. Ren, Stimpy, salt and pepper shakers, like I said, it's just like a little image printed onto the front of the salt and pepper shaker. Oh, so they actually have the S and P on the top there, so you can know which one is which. Obviously, you can interchange these depending on which character you want on what. Ren and Stimpy, salt and pepper shakers. That's not bad. Like, they really, yeah, so it's definitely a kitchen kind of theme going here, obviously. I wonder why they did that for winter. Not exactly sure. We have a scarf fit. Whole grain knit scarf. What's that supposed to be? It's probably just a scarf. Anyway, they call it Nickelodeon scarf it. And it's just a scarf. Oh, so the image of it is actually on the back here. I'm still gonna open it. Navy is one of my favorite colors. Okay, you got the navy with the orange. Wow, I had some navy and orange sneakers and actually I think I gave those away. Cause I was like kind of falling back from the sneaker game and like now I'm jumping back into it. But I had some navy and orange sneakers and I think I gave it away. Wow, anyway. Nickelodeon on the cloud there. It's not loose bread, is it? Okay, all right, that's fine. I thought it was gonna pull. Anyway, got the two-tone blue on the end there. So you got the navy and then the light blue. With the orange, it's the same print on both sides, a Nickelodeon scarf. Not bad, not bad. All right, guys, and that came in a box. Obviously, I told you they go in on their packaging. It's probably the best way to package a scarf, I would assume to fit everything else in there. But we got a, fold this better, okay, cool. Nickelodeon scarf with Nickelodeon written on the clouds. That's pretty dope. And, okay, last but not least, we have the clothing item and it looks like it is a shirt. It looks like it is a long sleeve shirt. And we have a good burger long sleeve shirt. I actually love it because it's nice and simple. I've kind of like toned away from all the crazy kind of stuff. Kinda. 
but uh, it's nice and simple. I actually love it a lot. You got the Good Burger logo right here on the corner. And then going up and down the sleeve, I should have ran it the other way. So yeah, it actually has the stripe going down the arm, just the one arm, not both. And it has the Good Burger logo on it. Good Burger logo, stripe going down the arm. And that's it, nothing on the back. So it's nice and simple. This is supposed to be a small, but it looks kind of huge. But that is the clothing item, and that is that. That's everything that came in the box. So we can just go back over everything. I did get the Rocco's Modern Life oven mitt. And I got the Rocco's Modern Life pot holder. We've got the Ren and Stimpy salt and pepper shaker. I'm gonna tuck that in there. I got the Nickelodeon uh, Nick Written on the Clouds scarf. So obviously they did the scarf because of winter. It also came with the Reptar chocolate mold. That's pretty neat, that's different. The Choky Chicken pitcher on the canvas. Chucky Finster eating the Reptar bar vinyl figure. The Nick character cupcake liners. The Good Burger socks with the burgers on the toes. The Good Burger AirPod case. That one's actually dope. I kind of really like that one. That was a good inclusion there. And last but not least, the Good Burger long sleeve shirt. This is definitely going to get some wear out of it. That is fire. And that is the Winter Nick box that I have been waiting for a long time to do it. I actually had someone that wanted to shoot this for me, but it's been such a long delay that I was like, I just need to go ahead and do it. But yeah, that's the Nick box. I got the spring one coming soon. I did say that I want to actually get away from just doing unboxings because I've been these things have been coming back to back to back. I'm gonna try to get away from that, and bring you guys some different kind of content. But I do hope you guys enjoyed this Nick box because this one is actually pretty full compared to the other ones. So I actually really enjoy that. Hopefully, the next ones we get some other kind of cool things. But yeah, look how full the back of this card is compared to what the other ones had. So I do hope you guys enjoyed that. Like I said, I am trying to bring you guys other content. I have been working on it, trying to get all the ins and outs of it worked out. And I've been trying to get other stuff situated just to make all that stuff happen for you guys. I do have plenty of other ideas that I am going to be delivering to you guys on Instagram, maybe on Facebook, probably be both, maybe. But yeah, we'll figure it all out. Just make sure you guys stick with me, okay? So make sure you like, comment, share, and subscribe. Turn on your post notifications, hit that bell button, and I will be back with more Jason's Modern Life. Peace and love to you.